Okay. Yeah. Okay, so here we go. We've got it hooked up a little bit better this day. So what we have is 36 volts of golf cart batteries, Trojan T105s, the 225 amp hour batteries. And these were in my Porsche over there. And I just took them out for this test. And you can see they're sitting at 36.75 volts. The amp draw is almost, it's about 28 amps. Um, so the batteries are holding out. We just started this about five, 10 minutes ago. And um, so these batteries are in good good condition. After a year, they're 110% capacity because of our chargers. 110%. 110%. Yeah. So normally, actually, normally electric vehicle with a regular charger, you would have these batteries down halfway. Yeah, if at least I, down. Yeah, for, for daily use. It, you know, if you baby the car, no, but if, if you drive it daily like I do, then it would. So they're better than normal. Uh, in fact, you can see, yeah, they're sitting at 36.74, even under load. Uh, so I can actually drive them 10 miles and come back and they're still fully charged. Um, okay, so these batteries again, 2,000 amp hour batteries. Uh, I got a little bit 2, better. 2,000 amp hour. Yeah, we don't have the best wire connecting them together here. Um, just because I threw it together really quickly, but you can see um, those are 12 volt packs here, and this this is 24 all together here, as we mentioned yesterday. Um, so what we're going to do is, well, let's go over this a little bit. So again, we're running uh, the generator coils on the back here um, in series. Um, yeah. Not the best configuration back there, according to John. Um, but we're running just a 40 watt bulb here right now. Um, just as a demonstration, if I disconnect this, you'll see it speed up. Okay, so that's just going straight off uh, the AC without being rectified or anything. Um, but the idea of those generator coils is to actually be pulsed back into the primary batteries, which then keeps them uh, at least more fully charged, and then also will um, accelerate the charging. Um, so here we have, again, some numbers. Look at these batteries. These batteries, again, were only charged about half an hour off of the system yesterday using 24 volts of very small batteries. Um, and then we just briefly ran these yesterday as well. Um, so right now we have 36 volts charging 48 volts, which you can see right now is climbing. We're at 60 volts. 60 volts. Now again, these batteries have not been charged in three years, not been touched at all, uh, except for yesterday briefly. Um, now is that holding, is that, is that gonna hold out at 60 volts? No. Uh, it's just that's the way it charges. Um, it will show a pretty high voltage under charge right now, and then um, will you know settle down. But it, it does it do some significant charging? Yes, it does. And we'll run some loads in a minute. You can see as I've disconnected the load, the mechanical load, which is through the generator coils on the back, that the amperage has gone up. So we're actually charging, or are drawing uh, 30, 36 volts maybe, or 36 amps at 36 volts. And uh, again, when we load down the wheel, we draw less, or like I said, we're gonna, we're gonna put a, a load on it, and we're gonna see that it draws less amperage, and yet it still keeps charging really well. 60 volts. So that is the system again. Um, what we're doing with each individual coils here, we, we ran a limited number of circuits on here and we made each, uh, each circuit ha has four wires. So each coil is only going to two circuits 
um, you know, there's eight, um, there's eight wires in each coil, and only four of them are going to um, one transistor. So we could normally run this to each transistor, or at least two wires per transistor, and push this a lot harder. Um, right now, let's look at some temperatures. Because um, we don't have really any kind of cooling on this, we want to be we want to keep our transistors pretty cold. But so you can see they're pretty much there's room temperature 60 degrees, 61. Oops, 61 degrees. So we're sitting at about 70 degrees on our transistors. So we're just tickling this system. Um, it could go a lot. We could push it a lot harder uh, if we change these resistors here. And then we change these, what we call branch resistors. Actually, these ones are pretty hot because they're taking a lot of the load. Um, uh, so, but what we could do here is change these resistors out to a lower value yet. They're 22 ohms. We could go down to 10 or 5. And then this would push a lot more amps and let this thing really fly. But I don't have the cable right now on there to properly charge um, you know we're dealing with 50 amps you know that we want to work with right now so what else do you guys have any questions you too yeah <laughs> no no, I mean, like, what John used to do is charge these up in about eight hours with his 10-coiler. Um, and he was running about 10 amps, 24 volts. So these would charge faster uh, right now. Although, right now, he would be only charging 24 volts with his 10-coiler. We're charging 48 volts. So, you know, it's going to take a long time. I mean, it would take a lot of power along you know to, to charge these batteries up they were about I would say three quarter or uh, three quarter charge maybe a little less um, even after sitting for three years you can see the water level will, will climb higher as it gets charged yes So we're not going to run, again, this inverter. This is a 2400 watt inverter. This inverter, uh, we don't want to run directly while this is running because of the negative energy um, and the spikes will, will ruin um, the filtering system. Even though there's a capacitor bank and filter, it will still be uh, negatively affected. So we're going to wait until we shut it off before we run the loads. But we've got almost 24 or 2200 watts of bulbs here, two missing. I don't know where they went. And then um, we've got a 1500 watt, um, 1500 watt uh, heater here that we can run just to show it running off of this bank right here. We could also pull out the air conditioner if you want to see the air conditioner run off. Well, I think you need to run the heater first, Rick. Did you guys not see that? I think you need to run the heater first. Okay. Then if you want to throw the air conditioner on, do it. Yeah. It's the wrong time of year, right? This light will be 